The Moodle quiz module is a very fast way for students and teachers to get feedback on, uh, on student learning. A student can take a quiz and have the system mark it immediately for them um, in order to get uh, very fast feedback and for the teacher to get that feedback as well. In order to use a quiz module, however, you ha first have to have some questions defined within the system. To add questions to Moodle, the first step is to simply look under the Administration Tool Panel and click on the button that says Questions. Now, by default, you can create a, a question very, very easily by just clicking on the Choose button, and you have a number of different options that you can choose from. However, um, if I were to create a multiple choice, for example, what you end up with is a very long and complex form that has a place to enter your question name, the uh, stem of the question, and a number of different boxes to enter all of the different distractors that you're going to want to use. Um, this can be a very confusing form, and in uh, some ways it can uh, actually make this a very tedious process in creating these quizzes. The good news is, is there is an easier way. Instead of creating a uh, quiz within the Moodle system itself, if I've got a multiple choice uh, uh, quiz already created in Word, for example, it would be much easier to be able to just import that, uh, that quiz directly. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a, um, a text editor um, in, um, in um, Windows, that would be Notepad or WordPad. In um, Mac, it's uh, text edit. Um, and um, I'm going to make sure that this is set to plain text format. So if you're in Notepad, it is plain text and you're, you're good to go. Same with WordPad. If you're in uh, text edit within a Mac, um, if you look under the format menu, um, you'll see a button here that says make plain text. And so you want to make sure that you press that button and you can tell it's, it's uh, been pressed by the fact that there's no toolbar up here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go into my, my uh, quiz that I've created in Word and I'm just going to cut and paste the entire quiz into, uh, into this space. At this point I do have a, uh, a quiz ready to go, but I do need to make some changes to it to make it ready for Word, or for uh, Moodle. The first thing is I need to get rid of the question numbers. Um, so I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to make sure that that 1 is, is gone, the 2 is gone, and the 3 is gone. The next thing I need to do is to make sure that the stem is on its own line. So if, for example, the stem were to extend to a second line, what I would need to do is either delete the uh, the character that, or the enter at the beginning by putting my cursor here and just hitting backspace, um, or deleting things that are not necessary. But it is important that the entire distract or the entire stem is on its own line for this to work. Additionally, I would need to make sure that the choices, uh, the A, B, C, and D, are of the format letter period, space, distractor. So you can see I've got an A, period, space, and then multiple choice, B, period, space, short answer. Those will go into the system just fine. The last part of this is to make sure that the, um, that the answer to the question is provided, and I do that by, after the last distractor, creating a new line and typing the word ANSWER in all caps, colon, space, and then the correct answer. And then doing that with the other questions as well. At this point, I can uh, simply save this file um, as a text file for later import into, uh, into Moodle. In the next section, we'll talk about how to do that.